This is the site of Bramshot Military Hospital. The Bramshot Military Hospital was located here. Uh, it's now just Bramshot Common, but at the time, the Bramshot Military Hospital was located inside of the Canadian Army's Bramshot Camp. It was actually located in the vicinity of five other Canadian camps, each named after one of the Great Lakes in Canada. This is the old road. Now this would have been strictly the access to the hospital at the time and, well, to the camp itself. What you can probably hear behind me is the A3, which is the dual carriageway that replaced the main road. The road they had at the time would also have been outdated. You see, during, well, World War I build-up and the aftermath, no public funding could be brought together and so all the roads around this area were very outdated. Bramshot Military Hospital was actually located here during World War One and World War Two. Nothing much remains of the Bramshot Military Hospital except a few overgrown passages and entrance ways that over almost a century of weathering and erosion have just been clogged up. If you're lucky enough to find something it will most likely be a piece of pipe or a small medicinal glass bottle or possibly a piece of red brick or Tile. I'm not sure how well this will come out on camera, but this is actually the remains of an old staircase. Uh, I'll try and get a bit closer for you. So this is a great example of some of the structure that's left. There are plenty of piles of rubble all around this site that still remain. Yes, the military still use parts of this common for exercise and training, but for what was once a hustling and bustling area, you'll only see a few dog walkers now. If you looked hard enough amongst the woods, you probably would find more stuff than just a staircase or a few bricks and tiles and bottles like I found, but most of it will probably be underground now. Remember, this was over half a century ago. There's still a few details that people don't know, like who was treated here, uh, who actually lost their life here. People are still trying to piece together the records. For what was once quite a hustling and bustling wartime area, it's a really quiet common now.